upcoming mega projects in Canada that will define the nation's economic destiny. As Canada's economy continues to evolve, the country is investing in several large-scale projects that are expected to shape its future. From clean energy initiatives to transportation upgrades, these projects are expected to create jobs, spur economic growth, and improve the quality of life for Canadians. In this blog post, we will take a closer look at eight upcoming mega-projects in Canada that are likely to have a significant impact on the nation's economic destiny. These projects include the Site C Clean Energy Project, the GO Expansion, On Corridor Works, the Bruce Power Refurbishment Project, the Iona Island Wastewater Treatment Plant, the Ontario Line Subway, the George Massey Tunnel Replacement, the Abeja District Condominium Complex, and the Scarborough Subway Extension. Site C Clean Energy Project the Site C Clean Energy Project is a hydroelectric generating station that will be built on the Peace River in British Columbia, Canada. It will have a capacity of 100 megawatts and produce 5,100 gigawatt hours of electricity per year, enough to power 450,000 homes or 1.7 million electric vehicles. This project will take advantage of water already stored in the Williston Reservoir, allowing it to generate 35% of the energy produced at the WAC Bennett Dam with only 5% of the reservoir area. Construction of the Site C project began in the summer of 2015 after receiving approval from the provincial government. The decision followed a rigorous and independent environmental assessment by the federal and provincial governments, which concluded that the long-term benefits of the project justified its effects. The project is expected to be fully operational by November 2025 and will be a source of clean, reliable, and affordable electricity for over 100 years for residents of British Columbia. Go Expansion On Corridor Works The Greater Golden Horseshoe Area's five main rail routes will have two-way, all-day service every 15 minutes or fewer thanks to the transformational GO Expansion Transit Project in Ontario, Canada. The project, which will be the biggest transportation project in Ontario's history, will start with a two-year collaborative development phase when the details of the project's scope, financial structure, and cost will be decided. During this stage, some early work and construction activities will start. Following the development stage, the contract's value and timetable will be made public. 205 kilometers of new track will be added. 687 kilometers of the rail network will be electrified. Union stations, platforms, and tracks will receive significant improvements. New maintenance and storage facilities will be constructed, and train control and signaling systems will be installed to enable more frequent service. The scope of work will also include extensive earthworks, drainage systems, grade separation structures, level crossing improvements, and new bridge construction. Between 2025 and 2030, portions of the increased services, new infrastructure, and electrification are expected to be implemented. The electrification of lines is scheduled to start in 2023, with partial implementation in 2025 and 2026 and full completion in 2032. The Regional Express Rail Plan, which spans 10 years, will have a cost of $13.5 billion. Bruce Power Refurbishment Project The Bruce Power Refurbishment Project is a massive undertaking aimed at overhauling the largest nuclear power plant in Canada. The 6.2 gigawatts Bruce Nuclear Generating Station was constructed by Ontario Hydro between 1970 and 1987 and is currently operated by the Bruce Power Limited Partnership, a collaboration between several major organizations. In 2005, Bruce Power entered into an agreement with the Government of Ontario to restart Units 1 and 2, which had been shut down by Ontario Hydro, and refurbished the entire plant in phases with the goal of extending the life of the Kandu reactors to 2064. The refurbishment program is being executed under a separate partnership between Bruce Power and the Independent Electricity System Operator, i.e. ESO, as per the agreement signed in December 2015. The work at Unit 6 is progressing as per schedule and is expected to be completed by 2024. This $13 billion journey is critical, as Bruce Power provides about one-third of Ontario's power at any given time, half of the 60% of overall nuclear power feeding the province. The total upgrades are scheduled for mid-2060. Iona Island Wastewater Treatment Plant Metro Vancouver is undertaking one of its most ambitious projects to date with the transformation of the Iona Island Wastewater Treatment Plant. 
The $9.9 billion multi-year program aims to not only upgrade the infrastructure but also improve the connection between the community and the environment through ecological restoration and off-site projects. The Metro Vancouver Federation, which consists of 23 municipalities, one electoral district, and one Treaty First Nation, has never undertaken a capital program on this scale. The initiative aims to cut greenhouse gas emissions, drastically reduce the discharge of total suspended particles and biochemical oxygen demand, as well as to protect the environment from hazardous substances that may enter the wastewater affluent stream. It's a sizable program among the biggest in the nation. The project definition has been approved, and work will now completely move on to the following stages. From 2022 to 2027, the focus will be on design, early works, and ground improvements. From 2028 to 2035, the main construction for the wastewater treatment infrastructure will take place. The final site restoration and project completion will happen from 2035 to 2038. Secondary treatment is expected to be operational by mid-2035, which is four and a half years after the regulatory deadline of December 31, 2030. The entire construction is expected to be finished in 2038. Ontario Line Subway The Ontario Line is a major transportation project currently under construction in Toronto, Canada. The 15.6-kilometer rapid transit line will connect the Northern Science Center Station at Eglinton Avenue and Don Mills Road with the existing Exhibition Geo Station on the Lakeshore West Line. Announced in 2019, the estimated cost for the project is between $17 to $19 billion with completion expected by 2031. A groundbreaking ceremony was held in March 2022, and it is planned for the line to take over the Line 3 moniker currently used by Line 3, Scarborough, which is expected to close in 2023. George Massey Tunnel Replacement the Highway 99 Tunnel Program is a major infrastructure project that aims to replace the aging George Massey Tunnel with a new, toll-free, eight-lane immersed tube tunnel. This program includes a range of improvements for motorists, transit, and active transportation users between Bridgeport Road in Richmond and Ladner Trunk Road in Delta. The province has been working closely with indigenous groups, local governments, and stakeholders to identify the right project for the region. The new eight-lane immersed tube tunnel was endorsed by the Metro Vancouver Board, which includes the cities of Delta and Richmond. The Highway 99 tunnel is an essential link for communities located on both sides of the Fraser River, as well as a vital trade route. The George Massey Tunnel, a four-lane crossing that was opened in 1959, no longer satisfies the region's needs or adheres to modern seismic standards. The Highway 99 Tunnel Program includes five projects that will be delivered over the next few years to enhance travel along the corridor for all travelers. These projects include transit enhancements, the addition of a walking and cycling path, a first for the crossing, and other corridor improvement projects that are currently in progress and on schedule. The new tunnel is planned to be operational by the year 2030. Abeja District Condominium Complex Abeja District Condos is a new development located in the bustling area of Vaughan. Scheduled for completion in 2023, the development offers a range of unit sizes from 415 to 1420 square feet, with prices ranging from $1,025,499 to over $1.3 million. The development features a total of 518 units, making it a vibrant and bustling community. Situated just around the corner from Vaughan Mills, the new Mackenzie Vaughan Hospital, and Highway 400, Abeja District offers easy access to everything you need. The location is also just minutes away from the Vaughan Metropolitan Center and the TTC station, making it an ideal spot for those who want to experience the best of the GTA. Abeja District is more than just a collection of buildings. It's the idea of a community coming together to create something beautiful and unique. Scarborough Subway Extension the Scarborough Subway Extension is a highly anticipated project that aims to improve public transportation in Toronto. The project, which is currently in pre-design, is estimated to cost $3.9 billion Canadian dollars. The subway will run from Kennedy Station to a terminus station on Shepherd Avenue East. However, there has been a great deal of disagreement between the Toronto Transit Commission and the government, which has delayed the project's progress. Currently, the subway is not expected to be built until at least 2029 or 2030, leaving only buses as a means of public transit for at least three years. 
The Scarborough Subway Extension Project is eagerly awaited by the residents of Toronto and the surrounding areas, as it will greatly improve the city's public transportation system. Thank you.